for joining us on Valley News Live as we had our broadcast late last night. The fog, the mist, the haze was uh, all over here in the Southern Valley. And then our wind switched from southerly to northwesterly as a cold air mass moved in. Look how far south it's made it. We have 30s into southern portions of South Dakota. We warm up quickly south of there. So we have had a hiccup in our midweek forecast, but we do have warmer weather to talk about right now. 26 degrees in Fargo feels like 16 and that wind still out of the north at 12 miles per hour. The cold spot is Grand Forks 24 there 30 in the Detroit Lakes area bouncing up to Devils Lake. It is 28 and 32 32 degrees in Jamestown today as opposed to 50 degree weather. We have near 30 degree weather in Lakes Country. Heavy rain just south of the Twin Cities metro area. A little bit of snow moving into parts of westernmost Wisconsin and we have a, a little blob of snow that's working its way eastward across the South Dakota border. If you are in Dickey County, Lamore County, some light snow showers are possible there. But if you look just south of the border where the deeper blues are, that's where things are a little more organized and there might actually be a little coating on road surfaces. So hit and miss flakes of snow clearing north, cloudy south and your hour by hour forecast shows that this evening more of the same. Our north winds should be dying off as we head into the overnight hours. The best chance at some clear and starry views will be up in the northern valley as we go through the overnight because along that South Dakota border, that cloud covered system will be oh, will be surging its way eastward. It could leave some flakes in our southern counties. And even though our model didn't show it, I think there is the possibility in Richland County in Sargent County, maybe even up in well, the Gwinner and Lisbon areas, a shot at that. Maybe that will slide into Lakes Country in the morning. As we go through the first hours of your Thursday, temperatures will start to warm, but we have growing pains. When we have warm air punch in over the top of cooler air, clouds and flakes result. So we'll have a chance of that, particularly at our southern counties as we go through the afternoon. Look at that warmth punching its way into the west. So central parts of North Dakota, like Jamestown, like Madoc, like Rock Lake. You guys have a shot at those 40s and, uh, well, for some even farther west, a chance at 50 degree weather returning. A few low clouds out in the eastern part of the state for tomorrow night, but by and large, it looks like we are on the mend temperature wise. And here's a look at your hour by hour forecast for Fargo through the morning hours. We make it up to 25 as we head into the afternoon. We'll see mixed skies and we'll have chances of those temperatures soaring into the mid 30s. And that's where we'll stay through the evening. I cannot rule out a flake of snow in Fargo and point south as we go through your afternoon as this warmer air tries to surge its way into the valley. 40s west, 30s in the Central Valley and near 40 as well to the east for you in Paul Bunyan land in Bemidji. All right, these deer here looking around. They're finally, finally able to see some bare earth out there. Donna, thanks for showing us your photo and uploading that. Here's your planning forecast on Friday, 46 degrees. And we have sunshine aplenty out there for your late week forecast. The weekend, we start to really melt snow in Fargo. Our rivers are going to respond in the Southern Valley, Central Red River Valley, with many of us making it up to flood stage. And that trend will continue in earnest into next week. This system, by the way, here does not look overly impressive for rain or snowfall amounts as we go through the middle of next week, Andrea. But we will keep you posted as to all of the flood gauge readings and the forecast as we go through this spring melt now in this well what's been unsettling year you always do we appreciate that you bet you know what else i do know what else yeah <laughs> this week yes be sure to join hutch chief meteorologist hutch johnson every day this week at two o'clock for his online weather classes hutch will be discussing a different weather related topic each day perfect for those who are still looking to learn at home today's topic was wind and what makes it blow and then tomorrow we're heating it up. That's right. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about some sunshine and how our atmosphere is driven by the sun, right? So we'll talk all about that tomorrow. That's right. Valley News Live Facebook page. Be sure to join him there. Fargo.